Now 604, and listen to these startling statistics. More than 60% of low-income families have no children's books at home. Half of all low-income fourth graders score below basic level on national literacy assessments. And children who can't read at their grade level by the end of third grade are 13 times less likely to graduate from high school on time. But a project started by a Buckeye Valley Junior High School teacher is hoping to change that while also helping better connect students with staff. News 5 first showed you the confetti project years ago and we continue to follow through on how that program is expanding beyond a post COVID-19 world. Well, now we've learned the program is helping better connect students with their peers. News 5's Bryn Caswell joins us live this morning from Medina. Bryn, this is a great project and they just la launched Books on Blankets. Yes, good morning. So this project is all about reading and connecting. So eighth graders get to pick a book of their choice, and then they pick a staff member of their choice to read the book with. But now those eighth graders have little buddies at the elementary school level where they do this reading project with. And this week they all gathered here at Buckeye Junior High School to talk about their readings and share their thoughts and feelings face to face. Books have the power to take the mind to new places and generate conversations in ways staring at a screen all day can't. For eighth grader Ava Wolf, having face to face conversations and sharing important lessons with her younger buddies from the Confetti Project is important. I have one, her name's Nia, and I, my other one's Addison, and they're very sweet, and I love the conversations and connections we make with each other. Jody Keith is the creator of the Confetti Project. The eighth grade language arts teacher at Buckeye Junior High started this project in 2022 to help students not feel alone coming out of the pandemic. Eighth graders choose from a variety of books, some surrounding grief, faith, or overcoming adversity. They then pick a staff member of their choice to read the book with instead of just writing a typical book report. Kids are feeling, whether they realize it or not, they're feeling in isolation. And um, they don't know how to look people in the eye and have conversations. And so, uh, and they want connection, they really do. And so uh, to put their phones down and to, to get to choose books about topics that are important to them is, uh, is really important. While students pick a teacher buddy to read a book with, Eighth graders are now also assigned younger buddies at the elementary level. For the first time Wednesday, the elementary students took a field trip to the junior high to hang out with their older buddies and talk about the readings for Books on Blankets. Our kids get to be the adults in the conversation. They have to think about prepping. They have to think about the book and how they're going to change their wording so the kids understand. And um, it's their job to make their little feel like the most important person in the world for those 30, 35 minutes. President of the Ohio Federation of Teachers, Melissa Cropper, says the plan is to expand the Confetti Project to schools across Ohio and the country. This is not only beneficial to the students, I think it's beneficial to the adults too, to get back to having those kind of conversations with people. Ready, right, say yes three times. Yes, yes, yes. Eighth grader Jules Collins says initially he wasn't interested in the project, but in the end, he says it made him better. You think it's hard, but I, I didn't want to do it at first. And then after I met with Ms. Keith, it was really easy after that. Like she like made it, she made it really easy for me to talk to other people. It's really rewarding to see them step up and to see the joy that it brings these, these, these littles, as we call them. This year, the project has grown from four classes to 16 classes. If there's a story you'd like me to follow through on, you can email me at brin.caswell at wews.com. Reporting live in Medina, Bryn Caswell, News 5. Love to see those little learners expanding their brains and their skills. Thanks, Bryn.